A little boy with Down syndrome was locked on a council's school bus for six hours after teachers forgot to check he'd got off. Reuben Wilson, 9, from Chew Magna, Bristol, was strapped into his seat and only discovered when the driver came back from his lunch break. His mother Sharon, 45, a lecturer claims her son, who cannot speak and communicates using sign language is now frightened to step on the bus. She said, the night after it happened Reuben signed to me, bus, big wait, Reuben sad mummy. The thought of Reuben sat there, literally abandoned, for hours on end, has given me sleepless nights. Since the incident Reuben has become really clingy. I feel so angry and upset. I just can't understand how he was left sat on the bus for so long and why no one checked he'd got off. Apostrophe. The night my journey began went shortly before Christmas. Mrs. Wilson waved her son off on the bus at seven. Forty-five a.m. as usual on the hour-long trip to Force Way Special Education School in Bristol. When Reuben first began taking the bus to school eight months ago, I was really worried. He's such a sweet adorable and trusting little boy. He can't speak and can only use market and gestures and signs. But after a few weeks I relaxed and there has never been any problem before. Apostrophe. The first sign anything was wrong was around an hour after Reuben should have got to school. She says. I was at work when I received a generic text message from the school saying they noted Reuben wasn't there today. But as he had been off from school the day before, I thought it related to that. I didn't query it as obviously he'd gone off to school fine. A carer on the bus is supposed to check everyone is off, a teacher is supposed to tick everyone off on the register, and the driver is supposed to check there is no one on the bus too. The last thing I expected was that all of these checks hadn't been done and Reuben had been left on the bus. Apostrophe. However, at 2.30 p.m., she got a phone call from the school to say Reuben had been found by the bus driver still strapped to his seat in the vehicle. I was shocked. The bus driver had actually gone for a lunch break, parked the bus and left Reuben on it while he went for something to eat. He only discovered him when he went back to the bus for the afternoon school run. I immediately left work and raced to see Reuben. When I saw him, he just wanted to be hugged. It was so distressing. Mrs. Wilson, who lives with Reuben's stepdad Chris Gillies, 45, a training manager, 
adds, Reuben has started back at school, and the school were great informing me when he'd arrived, and when he'd set off school to home. But a new driver recently lost his way. The bus was delayed for 30 minutes, and no one rang. Apostrophe Daniel Katanich, spokesperson for Bath and North East Somerset Council, said it is now assisting Avon and Somerset Police with an investigation into the incident. The council has already spoken not the family and apologised for the distress caused, he said. This is a terrible event for the child and his family. The council fully understands the gravity of the situation and will want to know how this could have occurred in order to ensure that this can never happen again.